Hi, I'm Danielle Matus at Caring Medical Florida. We often get questions from patients that are suffering from chronic pubic pain or chronic pelvic floor pain. And to show you what we're talking about today, this is actually a model and depiction of all the soft tissue, all the ligaments of the pelvis. This right here, where it says pubic symphysis, can actually be a big pain generator in patients that have suffered injury from there. Now, commonly we would might think of females like after childbirth with chronic pubic pain, but it does also affect males as well, especially ones that maybe have been athletic, maybe even hockey players that have suffered injuries to it. So it does occur in both men and women. And I wanna show you a couple case reports on how prolotherapy and PRP have helped a couple of our recent patients. This is an ultrasound image of us measuring the pubic symphysis. So anybody that comes in with pubic pain, we always wanna get a baseline measurement to see essentially is the pubic um, excuse me, is the pubic symphysis more separated than it should be. So right here you can see up in the corner that this measured 0.52 centimeters, meaning the space between those two bones. What we find in our practice is that that actually is an abnormal reading. And what we like to see it as is more in the like 0.3, maybe 0.4 at the most, and this one was 0.52. So what that means is that the pubic symphysis was more separated than it should be. That tissue had been stretched out was and is more loose than it should be. Now this right here is the same patient, another measurement after undergoing two PRP prolotherapy treatment sessions. And you can see it went from 0.52 to 0.27, so now within normal range. And with that, importantly as well, is the patient was actually getting much less pelvic pain, much less pain in the pubis, felt more stability, and was actually able to walk up and down stairs without pain, which is wonderful. This next example is actually in a male suffering from chronic pubic and chronic, chronic pelvic floor pain, excuse me. And you can see here, again, this is the measurement of that pubic synthesis, 0.46. Now, again, this is a male. Never birthed a baby. There's, there's really no reason why it should be that wide. We do want it to be less than that. And then on, after one treatment, he's still undergoing treatment, but after one, it went down to 0 0.40. So these are just two cases, male and female, that show how PRP prolotherapy can strengthen and tighten that pubic synthesis and stabilize it long term.